Once upon a time, in the heart of Philadelphia, there existed a quiet and unassuming neighborhood. Nestled amidst the towering buildings and bustling streets, a small butcher shop stood, its faded sign bearing the name Harvest Meats. The shop had been a fixture of the community for decades, supplying the locals with fresh cuts of meat for their meals. However, beneath its innocent exterior, a dark secret lurked. The neighborhood butcher, a man named Edgar Monroe, had an unnerving reputation among the residents. His tall and gaunt figure, clad in blood-stained aprons, sent shivers down their spines. Some claimed that his eyes held a sinister glint, and his smile, stretched unnaturally wide, seemed to reveal more teeth than any human should possess. Rumors whispered through the streets, tales of missing persons and strange disappearances. Some whispered that Edgar's meat was unlike any other, possessing an unrivaled tenderness and flavor. But others, more skeptical, suspected that there was something far more sinister at play. One evening, a young woman named Lily moved into the neighborhood, unaware of the haunting stories surrounding the butcher. Lily was an adventurous soul, drawn to the mysteries that life had to offer. Intrigued by the tales that swirled around harvest meats, she decided to investigate for herself. Entering the dimly lit shop, Lily was greeted by the overwhelming scent of raw meat and the sound of a knife rhythmically thudding against a wooden chopping block. Edgar stood behind the counter, his eyes fixed on her as if he had been expecting her arrival. With a polite smile, he asked, How can I assist you today, my dear? Lily, undeterred by the eerie atmosphere, inquired about the source of the rumors surrounding harvest meats. Edgar chuckled softly, his laughter sending a chill down her spine. Ah, the rumors, he said, his voice dripping with a mixture of amusement and malice. They say my meat is to die for, don't they? Lily's curiosity peaked, and she pressed further, determined to uncover the truth. She requested a tour of the shop, wanting to see what lay beyond the prying eyes of the customers. Edgar obliged, leading her through a labyrinthine network of cold storage rooms, each filled with carcasses hanging from hooks. The air grew colder, and the stench of death permeated the atmosphere. Lily's unease grew with every step, but her resolve remained unshaken. Finally, in the deepest corner of the shop, a hidden room was revealed. It was a macabre sight. The walls were adorned with grotesque paintings of butchery scenes, and shelves lined with jars containing organs and preserved body parts. Lily's heart raced, and she stumbled backward, her worst fears realized. Edgar's smile widened, revealing rows of sharpened teeth. You see, my dear, the rumors were not entirely unfounded. Harvest Meat takes pride in providing the finest cuts of meat to its customers. But the source of that meat? Well, that's a secret best kept within these walls. Lily's mind raced, realizing the danger she was in. She turned to flee, but Edgar's hand shot out, wrapping around her arm with an iron grip. Panic consumed her as she struggled against his grasp, but his strength was inhuman. As darkness closed in around her, Lily's fate became entwined with the chilling legends of the neighborhood butcher. The tales would continue to be whispered, and the missing would be mourned, but the secrets of harvest meats would forever remain locked away, concealed by the shadows of Philadelphia.